Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. And today I have my second wish haul. I collected another, I don't know, 9, 10, 12 items. And uh, which, having had one haul done and this one, there's probably enough for two more. I just save up about 10 to a dozen items, something like that. And um, I actually already shot this video, but without the record button on. So it's been that kind of day. I just had this horrible headache. You can probably see it in my face. But anyway, um, I'm going to start with the jewelry items because they were little. And um, one thing I can say is I'm pretty sure that the three jewelry items that I received out of the three, that I actually only ordered two of them. <laughs> so the one I ordered that I believe, or that I got that I believe I really did order, is this little charm. It's supposed to be like a Pandora or Chamilla charm. I have a Chamilla bracelet with a lot of Pandora charms on it. And it's just a little V with some little rhinestone things. I think it's actually smaller than, you know, what we buy here in the U.S., the name brand ones. Uh, it's pretty, and uh, it's not quite as shiny as those. So as far as a thumbs up or down, I think I would give this one kind of both. <laughs> um, I, I would know more when I put it on, but I'm probably not going to put it on with my regular um, charm bracelet because I think it would look too different than, you know. But I do have a leather one too, and I think it might look good on there. So, with that. Okay, so the next one, I am pretty sure I did not order this little silver bracelet here. The only thing that would make me think I did, because I don't remember ever seeing this, but the only thing that would make me think I did is it has a little thing on the end. Can you see that? That has a V on it, which is my initial, of course. So, how would they have picked it? I think I ordered something that was a V. And I got this, but actually, I kind of like this. Um, don't know how much I paid for these items, but I'm going to tell you, nothing was over three dollars. I tried to either get free one, two, or three, just to make it fun. So, anyway, this one um, I would, I would wear. I don't know how long it's going to last. It has that feeling like it's um, that metal that maybe it's metal over something and it might break or something. But uh, while it while it works, I'll wear it. I, I like it. Thumbs up on that one. And then the last jewelry item, which I think was, I might be wrong, but I think it was supposed to be a state of Florida charm on a necklace, is this. It's real, got these sparkly little things here. But if this is supposed to be a necklace, then your neck is going to have to be super, super small. Like, I think this would fit like one of those American Girl dolls or something. But the reason I think it's a necklace is because it has all these different links for changing the length. But maybe people make bracelets like that. Now, I, I've never seen that in a bracelet. But if it's a bracelet, it's kind of a weird way to fall. So, I don't know. It's kind of strange. Um, not to say it's not pretty, but uh, I'm going to give this one a fail. Now, the next three items, right up front, they're fails for me. <laughs> and they're the phone cases. I am always looking for a phone case. And I think I had one in my last wish. And then I got these three. So that may be all of the ones that I ordered. But this one, while I was unpacking it, came apart. This whole bottom piece came off. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to. So I went to the instruction, but I don't think that it is. Um, I went to the instructions to look, and they have been translated to English, but they make no sense. So I would still say it's a fail. It's a hard plastic. The, the um, one part about it I do like is that it seems like this part comes up enough to go lip over the phone just a slight bit. I like that. In fact, I like a thicker lip so that if you drop your phone face down, the glass never hits anything. It's the lip gets hit. So, but um, because this piece fell off, well, look now this one's coming off. I would say this is a fail. I think it could fall apart while you're using it. So, I would say no to this. And plus that gold color, mm, not not a good not a good gold. It's a it's more of a brassy kind of color, an old dirty brass color. All right, the next one stinks, but it's a little, um, you know, this type here. It's got a little magnetic closure, which is nice. Just a little painted gold butterfly design, which is already looking like it might be coming off in some places. 
So I don't know if that's going to last. It has a little strap. The phone's in here. It has a little case for your driver's license and credit cards, although that driver's license thing is really small, so I guess the expectation is it'll stick out. Either that or driver's license in other countries are much smaller than those in the U.S. And uh, the only thing I worry about this is it's not completely attached here. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's to make it easier. Oh yeah, I guess it is because there's a bin there. Probably for making it easier to get the phone in and out, maybe. This is flimsy. I would be scared to use this. I honestly would think I would lose my phone and my credit cards if I use this, but it does come with that. So if you're braver than me, <laughs> I am pretty sure I ordered this in a mint green. And this is one of those things where I think the black was the printed price. And when I went for the mint, then it went from like $1 to like $9 or something. I'm not going to pay $9 for a phone case I haven't seen to know if I could even use it. But I will, you know, $1 for a wish haul. Yeah, I'm down with that. So I'm going to give this one a... It's not a huge thumbs down, but a little bit. Now this next one is probably in terms of... Okay, it is light plastic. However, um, there's a couple things that make it where I would say this is probably would do the best job at protecting your phone. I feel the safest with my phone in it. It's called the 360 Full. It says right on it. And it has, let's see if I can get this. It's a back, a front, a, the um, screen shield, I guess you call it. I'm not gonna take it out of there. Although that, yeah, I guess it is the right size, a screen shield. And then two wipes for getting your phone and the screen shield clean before you put them all together. So this probably has the best chance of actually protecting your phone. Although this is pretty flimsy. Not to say that that's, you know, some given and it's not good, but I don't know. I'm still going to go with the down. So far, none of the phone cases on Wish are what I would carry. And it's probably because I'm a little picky about the quality. And I'm not going to find that on Wish without buying one of the items that's, you know, $20. So, all right, just let me grab something. Ah, yes, the other smelly item. So this contraption stinks like you wouldn't believe. It's not a, it's not a, um, you know, nasty, sewery, rotten, egg, garbage kind of smell. It's a chemical smell, which is scary. I hate to even thought that I'm breathing it. But anyway, uh, I'm sure it will air out eventually. <laughs> but it is, um, as you can see, a little fold up basket thing. It's with two grommets. And then you can put this, um, I don't know, on a baker's rack, on a doorknob on a peg, whatever, and you put your recycled like plastic bags in here. Now I don't get a lot of grocery store bags because we use these, but we get our newspaper delivered every morning in a plastic bag and that's what we reuse. Not recycle, we reuse them because we use them for uh, dog poop picker uppers. So we always have these scrunched in a basket or something. So this will be good. I'm gonna though not put this in my kitchen, I'm afraid. It's gonna have to go in the garage because of the smell. If it uh, works through that issue, then maybe I'll put it in the kitchen. And I would definitely call this one a pass though. I think this, is, uh, this will be very workable. It's very light. And if you're not using it, it just folds to nothing. And uh, it's light, so I'll call this one a pass. But I'm sure you could get this at the dollar store for a dollar a bit too. So, and I'm pretty sure I paid nothing and then $1 shipping. And then in my first haul, I had one of these racks and it's the kind you put into the wall. Well, I got another one. I bought them both at the same time actually. But this one, as you can see, actually you hang over a door. Now, I don't know if any of my doors are that thin. Uh, I don't think they are. Maybe the closet mirror door. I don't know, but anyway, so as you can see, it has the racks for your keys, handbags, bathrobes, towels, whatever. These are pretty close together, so I don't know that you could do towels very well, but yeah, so we'll see. I will give this a thumbs up, even though I'm not sure it's going to work because of the size of this, but there's probably another way that we could use it, so I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Oh, I know, a kitchen cabinet inside a kitchen cabinet door like uh, to hang dish rags or something inside the door. 
yeah, that would probably work because I don't think they're as thick as my actual, you know, doors. So anyway, thumbs up. And the next item. Oh, this one's hysterical. Okay. You know how people do wish hauls and the clothes are much smaller than they expected? Well, I ordered a dog toy. One of those rope chew things that you can play tug and they chew. Look at this thing. It's a baby one. It's a baby. Now, I have a puppy in my house. One of my foster, my foster is a puppy. And I would not even consider giving this to him because in trying to play with him, he would, he would bite my hand because he's a puppy. He's still learning manners and uh, his teeth are barracuda sharp. So I would get bit, accidentally bit, but bit if I use this. So this is a no, but it is hysterical. I mean, it's like no bigger than my hand. So I had, I laughed when I saw that. Okay, and here's probably, oh, I'm gonna call that one a fail, by the way. This is a fail because Really? Maybe maybe a miniature chihuahua. I don't know. All right, so this is one of my favorites. Ta-da! It's a whale. It looks like a baleen whale, right? But uh, it is a strainer. So you put this on the end of the, you know, you're pouring a pot out, and you have it there, and it catches your noodles or whatever you're boiling, and uh, it lets all the water out. So it's a strainer. We use colanders, but I think this will be nicer because those colanders with all the little holes in them you know they get pieces of pasta or potatoes or whatever you know whatever you're boiling in there and you have to use so much water with the um, sprayer thing and I hate doing that I work in water <laughs> I don't like to waste water not one single drop so um, I think this will be better because then it just uh, I think it'll work better because this I think would take a lot less cleaning it's nice and thick on the end and it's got a lip so you can catch on the end of your pot and hold it on. Um, hopefully it will hold up to hot boiling water. It's very cute. It's got a little eye. I don't know if you can see that. It's a friendly little whale with the dorsal fin. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's got a little hole in the tail for um, um, hanging up or something. So I think this one, definitely give this one a pass. In fact, I will call this my favorite item in the haul. And what's next? Okay, I'm going to grab the next two. So I ordered some dog harnesses and this one is super tiny again on which things can be very small and I do dog rescue for rat terriers I've never had a rat terrier this small that could wear this I know they're out there and a friend of mine you know a, a, a foster friend also has those rat terriers and chihuahuas and so I'm sure she can use this or anybody else yeah, can I think I have a friend here that I work with who does Chihuahua Rescue too, and I'm sure that this one would work for them for that size. And I think that was a small, and I think this is the medium, and it's in purple. And I'm pretty sure I did not order purple, but you know what? I don't think the dogs really care. Um, I just know that it makes it look nice. We can take nice photos with a nice harness. Now these are not the quality. Actually, the green one feels better than the purple one, but even though they're the same thing, I don't know. But um, uh, these are not the nice quality of the ones like we, that they sell at the pet shop, not pet stores, but pet supply stores by where I live. They have, you know, Papilla, Puppy One, I don't know all the brands. But anyway, so um, it's not that kind of quality, but it will look nice in photos and it will get the foster home to its forever home when it gets adopted. And then um, they can buy them. A nicer one you know because I don't think these will last like the some of the papillas I have for my dogs I've had a very long time like 10 years and yeah, that in the lupine um, harnesses I mean in leashes last for uh, harpine lupine collars and leashes and then I have like papilla harnesses and these things last forever so. now the last item in here is one of the first items I ever ordered on wish I actually ordered a set of brushes on Wish. They turned out to be artist brushes. They haven't come in yet. In fact, they may have been canceled. Um, and then it wasn't until I went back and looked at my order that I realized they weren't makeup brushes. And it was makeup brushes that got me started on all this because I saw other people's Wish hauls and they had makeup brushes. And I happened to need some. 
and they were all ordering these mermaid tailed ones that were very cute. I didn't go that route. I went this route. Now I've already taken these out and looked at them previously when I shot this video and I will say that I think the brush part, the actual fibers on the end here, I think this is really nice and soft. It may not be expensive stuff but I think it's nice and soft and usable. Um, this part is just okay. I mean it's just regular hard whatever it is. This part's a little bit cheesy. So I don't expect them to last forever because I don't think the metal part is going to, but that's okay. You know, I'm not that good at cleaning them, so I mean I do, but maybe I wait too long. So I mean if they wear out here before here, I'm good with that. Um, anyway, uh, I will find a lot of use for this one in particular. And this set, I can't remember if this set was free or Whatever it was, it wasn't over $3, not intentionally over $3, but um, it has a lot of pieces and I love this one, the one that has like the mascara wand. Can you see that? I don't know. Because I like to do that to my eyelashes before I put on mascara or sometimes even after it's on just to separate them. I hate when my lashes clump. Girls are with me on that and I love mascara, lots of it, so I have to be careful. You know the best mascara I've ever tried? This is a side note. Anybody who's not a mascara fan, just zip ahead, is Dior Show. And that's thanks to my awesome friend who introduced me to it. And I love it. Doesn't last long enough, but I love it. So, anyway, back to the wish. But, so here they are, all my brushes. And I do like them, and I definitely give them a thumbs up. So, the items that I liked, and if you're interested, I would say give them a try if you want. You never know what you'll get <laughs> because like I say I'm sure I didn't order this but I kind of like it um, so the items that I did like were the hook the whale definitely my favorite I do like this but it's got to air out it stinks these are nice and I think that's all my favorite wish items so thumb up, thumbs up items and for those of you returning who watched my videos before thank you very much for your support if you're new to the channel I do hope that you will like and subscribe there's a lizard running across my window. I'm sorry, I get distracted by uh, flora and fauna. <laughs> so anyway, if you are a first time person here, I hope you will subscribe and returning visitors, thank you very much. And everybody, please give me a like on the video.